Hey, this is Bethany, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about shade adjusting drops from The Body Shop. Now these were sent to me by The Body Shop to try out on my channel, and I've been using them for a little over a week now. So obviously, I'm going to be demoing the one that's for lightning skin, but I'm going to be talking about both of these in general, and then also comparing this lightning one to the previous lightning product. I've used before. So as many of you who watch me already know, I'm pretty pale so I have a hard time matching a foundation to my neck or making sure it's not too yellow or orangey looking or what have you. So let's get started. Now these drops are designed to take that shade of foundation that you have that is almost there, just closed, maybe a shade or half a shade away and then adjust it to a point that you can actually wear it and match it perfectly. Because this is meant to take that almost there foundation and make it the perfect match, I was generally using it with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It's NW10, so it's the palest shade you can get from MAC. And I only usually needed between one or two drops and a dime-sized amount of foundation on my hand. And I think this would be a great one to demo with. So let's mix it. So first, before I get started putting this on my face, I want to speak a little bit about the packaging of these. Uh, they come in dropper form. It's half a fluid ounce, whereas my Manic Panic Foundation Lightener is a whole ounce. Now, in terms of the consistency of these, they are completely different. This one can be a bit drying to my foundations, and this one can be a bit more fluidy and make them more liquidy, though certainly not thinner, in my opinion. And I definitely prefer the texture of this to my Manic Panic one after I've used it. Another thing I wanted to say about the packaging is although it looks quality and sleek, I don't really enjoy the usage of this dropper because it doesn't always work. If I dip in here and I try to suck up product and I bring it back out and squeeze, it's like hit or miss and it's usually a bubble that it squirts out on me. So I'm honestly not that much of a fan of the dropper just because the dropper doesn't work that well. Maybe if they switched over to a pump and put a little bit more product in the bottle, I would like that more because this does retail for $20 and it's only half a fluid ounce. However, if it works better than other things, then it's worth it to me. But let's get into it and demo it on my face. So ideally to use this, you're supposed to add one drop for every half shade lighter you want the foundation to be to your average foundation amount that you put on the back of your hand, like a dime sized amount. So that's what I have here. Now because this is definitely at least two shades darker than my skin tone, I'm going to need like probably at least three drops, but uh, let's get in here and show you guys what that looks like. Here is the dime size amount that you would typically use, and normally they recommend mixing it on the back of your hand, but I just wanted to show you it next to its normal shade, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix it in this little pot. I think two drops for now to see if it's light enough. See the little bubble? So adding two drops should lighten this about one full shade. So there's the difference so far. That is not light enough. Let's add two more drops. Alright, so here is with five drops total and how much lighter we made it. So that's probably about two and a half shades lighter than this one according to how much we used. And this was definitely a bit of a mess to do in this little pot, but I just definitely wanted you all to see the definitive difference here. Alright, so after some time of messing with this, I'm ready to put it on my face. I've already put on setting spray and primed my skin, and I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush to do so. And I can see already, just from previous times of trying to use the L'Oreal foundation, that this is way closer to my skin tone. Like, it's really light. The L'Oreal foundation is typically way too yellow for me, way too orange. And these drops are actually formulated to have white and pink pigments in them that are meant to neutralize yellow or orange foundations. So a great deal of my foundation graveyard, as I call it, is full of foundations that are too yellow. So something like this with pink pigments in it are a good idea for someone like me who sits kind of along the lines of neutral. Look at that close match right there. I could have probably stood to put maybe another drop in on that, but this is the closest this foundation has ever been to matching me because it was way orange. It's the same shade as my neck now. All right, so that's what it looks like put on. I'm gonna throw on the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, now that I finished the rest of my makeup and you all can see that my neck 
for the most part, matches the rest of my face, uh, let's talk about the shade adjusting drops because I have a lot to say. So as I said while I was putting them on, the lightning ones have white and pink pigment in them meant to neutralize, you know, overly yellow dark foundations. However, this is designed to be taking that foundation that's so close, almost there, just a shade or two away, and then adjusting it or about half a shade away. Uh, that's why they recommend using one drop on the back of your hand with your normal amount of dime size foundation. However, this isn't a ton of product, no matter which one you get, because they're both only half a fluid ounce. And my Manic Panic that I was used to using was a full fluid ounce, and it came with a pump, which I prefer. However, Manic Panic doesn't have those pink pigments in it that neutralize a foundation that are just too yellow no matter what you do. So overall, I actually do end up with a better shade for me by using this one. I just wish it had more product like the Manic Panic one. Neither of these are super opaque or have a ton of pigment. They do just subtle adjusting and it does work for me. And either of these are only meant to adjust a couple shades. Otherwise, you're using quite a bit of product and quite a bit of drops when neither of these are a huge bottle anyways. However, one thing that is completely different about either of them is the texture. The Manic Panic, when I add it to any of my foundations, immediately starts drying it out a little bit. Mind you, I have enough time to put it on, uh, but I do tend to rush with my foundation more to put it on because this, uh, it almost makes it like a little bit more moussey. This is definitely more liquid and it goes on so smooth and fluid and it mixes well with my foundations, whereas I have to work to mix the Manic Panic a little bit harder. So there are pros and cons to either one, but overall my favorite one to wear is this one. And let's not forget about the girls on the opposite end of the spectrum that have difficulty finding foundations that are dark enough. This comes with black and red pigment in it to adjust their shade accordingly. So I messed around with this one. I've even seen someone contour with this, which is kind of a nifty idea. But just like the lightning one, it has a very fluid texture. I think it would mix in beautifully with a lot of foundations. And if I was doing wedding makeup again, I would definitely probably add this to my collection, though I would still be bummed that there wasn't a lot of it. So all in all, here are my finishing thoughts on these. These are $20 each, which can be a little bit steep considering that they're only half a fluid ounce. However, if I show you my foundation graveyard, which I will someday, it makes this more than worth it to me. Because not only does this subtly lighten my foundations, it subtly neutralizes the tone by having the pink, pink pigment in there, which this one did not neutralize it. And although my concern on the $20 price tag is pretty valid, not that that's super steep or anything, but for some people it might be, um, I'm getting really excited with the promise of actually being able to use foundations I've spent money on, especially ones that were only just a little bit away of the shade, and now I got this. So all in all, I think this is a quality product. I really like using it. I just have issues with the packaging and how much you get versus the price tag. Uh, if they introduce a bigger bottle someday, I'm going to hop on that like crazy, but I will use this up and see how quickly it goes for me. I'm definitely leaning more towards I would repurchase this for myself just because I like how it wears. Anyhow, those are my finished thoughts on these droplet. Anyhow, those are... Damn it, phone! Anyhow, those are my finished thoughts on these shade adjusting drops from the Body Shop. If you have any questions about them, please feel free to leave them below. I hope you all enjoyed this video and this demo, and I'm, I apologize that I'm not personally able to demo the deep skinned one on me. I do know that I love the formula of this, so if I find a good deep skin review, I'll leave that below. And one last thing I forgot to mention, these do have a scent to them. It's a really pleasant scent. It's not super strong, but it is sort of a floral, sweet scent. So if you don't like scented things, I guess that's not good, but I personally really like the smell. I think it's really pleasant, but I thought I would give you all a heads up. If you all have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I hope I covered everything, but you never know, in the moment of being hot under all these lights, I could be burning up and forget stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and as always, thank you all for watching my videos and my reviews and my face. I like you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.